Well, first of all, thanks very much for joining us and congratulations on uh, winning the, uh, the nursing travel bursary. Uh, first of all, what made you want to apply? Well, we applied for the travel bursary because we're both in the middle of a master's programme and one of the modules was based around family-centred care. Um, we had lots of lectures with regards to it from nurse consultants and a psychologist who highlighted the importance of NIDCAP and improving nursing practice with regards to that. Um, and the nurse consultant had actually been to the States herself and experienced their practice over there. We knew it was something we could bring back to the unit if we were lucky enough to get the bursary. And whereabouts are you going? Uh, we've been looking around for the last few weeks. Our original intention was to visit San Francisco and Chicago, um, but once we've started looking into it a bit more, a bit deeper, and um, we've contacted someone called Heidi Lee Zells, who's the creator really of NIDCAP, and she's recommended that we contact these different nurseries in America that have got, there's only four in the world that have got NIDCAP certification, and we've managed to secure a visit with two of them, so we're going to Idaho and North Carolina. Uh, NIDCAP, tell me a bit more about that. NIDCAP's about developmental care and how we manage the babies, interpreting the cues that they give us so that we can achieve the best outcomes for them. Um, looking at the facial expressions, the way that we nurse them, the way that we position them, um, the temperature control, the uh, hearing, the environment that they're in, the light, the exposure, the cuddles from the parents, the way that they're handled and, and things like that. There's already aspects that we already do on the unit. We always, you might have noticed when you've been on before, that the lights are down and we try and keep the noise down as well. And the incubators are covered to reduce the noise and light getting to the babies. But I think it's just developing on from that and looking at the next, how we can make it, say, work a bit better for our unit. It's not just America you're going to. I understand there's a couple of projects here in England that you're looking at as well. Yeah. We're hoping to go to St Mary's in London and to Bristol because uh, they're both um, practising NIDCAP centres in this country um, that we would like to look, compare them to America and then see how we can use their philosophy to adapt into another English hospital. Mm -hmm. Are there any reciprocal arrangements taking place? Uh, are you hoping to take anything over there to share with? Well, we, we can invite them back if they want to come to Chesterfield and see what we've done and what we've achieved, then they're more than welcome. And uh, what about the time scale? What's the uh, sequence of events? Yeah, we're looking to do the UK visits in January, so we thought it would be perhaps nice to get the, ba the UK base completed first, and then we're going to go to America in March.